Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Thank you so much for joining us again and we are back on the tiger, we're still on the tiger and we're gonna get all those, well a lot of those little fiddly nitty gritty jobs done. I'm hoping we can get the front brake working, the rear brake pedal was flapping around and that needed a lot of work and I'd love to get the mud guard mounted but that leaves us with a bit of an issue. Um, and I've got to thank you all first of all so much, so many of you commented and helped me on Instagram and on YouTube, pointing me in the direction of Lucky Luke. Luke, if you're watching, you're a star. I needed a seat for this project and I was looking everywhere. I didn't want a new one. I wanted a nice old one that sort of looked worn and apart. Bates was the brand that used to make the cool period correct kind of nice ones. And Luke came through, he had one, he was on a bike that he actually took off a bike and was willing to sell to me. I haven't got it yet, but it's on the way. So hopefully, fingers crossed, in this episode, we'll get all the brakes working, all the little bits buttoned up, brackets done, and bars on, levers on, and hopefully get the seat and the mud guard on. I have had these two lights on the side in the workshop, actually longer than I've had this workshop. They're a little bit of a, a sort of Porsche nod, because they're, um, I think that they're, I mean, they're used for various different things, but I've seen a lot of uh, 356s with these sort of spotlights on the bumpers. I just, I wasn't gonna ever put them on the 356. I mean, I've had these for a lot longer than I've had the Porsche, but I just love them. And I found them at swap meets. I found one in America, believe it or not. Um, I think it was at Pomona or somewhere like that. Um, and another one over here in the UK. Uh, and I've just, I've had them ever since. I've just gathered these parts for no particular reason other than I just love them. I just think they just look beautiful. But this small little spotlight is gonna become the headlight for the Tiger. Hopefully I can get that nut undone, remove all of this bits of bodywork that has come off. Oh, it looks like it's gonna, I really hope it doesn't get damaged and round off and snap. Clean up the wiring uh, and then get on to making a bracket. I think it's gonna be fairly straightforward. Look, two pinch bolts here. I'll probably have to make longer ones, but they're basically, I'm gonna have a piece of metal that bolts through those two, comes up and bends over and has a hole in it. So the bottom, that head, the big bolt, the big nut on the bottom of the headlight can sit there and it will just sit in that gap. I don't think that's anything groundbreaking, but that is what's gonna happen. It's all in really, really good condition. I'm amazed, it's beautiful. There's a tiny bit of rust around the bottom there that I can deal with, but that's fine. All right, I'm gonna get the two wires off there, clean that up, and this is the big problem. I'm trying to get that mess off the end there without causing any damage. Oh, yes. Oh, it's off. Yes. Uh, thank goodness that I was really worried because that nut is really quite rusty uh, and hot. I had to heat it up, but I put a wet rag in the headlight bowl to try and keep the chrome good and not damage anything and then heat the nut, cleaned it up with a wire wheel. Boom, it's off, we're in. There it is, my headlight bracket. Well, of course, the headlight bracket did not go as straightforward as you'd hope. Mark one, the right angle, didn't like that. Mark two, I put, I got a bit fancy with the bottom edge and put like a sort of little rounded bottom edge and didn't tip it quite as far, didn't quite fit. Mark three, uh, slightly longer version of Mark two, where the actual um, headlight will bolt onto, needed to be a bit further away. And I can feel you all telling me off, saying, why don't you just make a cardboard template? How many times are you gonna mess up these expensive pieces of aluminium and steel? Just make a cardboard one. 
I tried making a cardboard one, but the reality of that is the headlight is heavy. I'm here on my own. I'm trying to bolt a piece of cardboard to some forks and balance the headlight on it. It's all flapping around and moving around. I just thought, you know what? Now I've got a selection of headlight brackets I can all sift around from. And number four, Mark IV is on the bike. It's not, it's not finished. I'll probably paint it black, but it's looking good. I'm quite chuffed. First one came forwards and it would have had the bolt out here then the wire would have come out the bottom and kind of had to you just you'd have seen it all so i flipped it round and bent it backwards so it bends in it's very close to the frame but it's all in there it's all fine i think that looks fairly smart what do you reckon that little silver bit in there that's a little spacer that i may well take out um but then i'll have to cut the threaded part a bit shorter to bring the headlight down a little bit more because I think it's a little bit high at the moment. But I can lose that. So there's probably about 20 mil there nearly that it can come down. I think that will help. I'm calling that a victory. That's done. Another bracket finished. By the time John comes back at the weekend, it's going to look like a whole bike if we carry on at this rate. On to the next problem, the rear brake pedal. It's actually fitted to the bike, so we're taking one step back now, and I'm actually gonna have to take something back off the bike. It's basically loose and flapping around. So I'm gonna have to fire up the lathe, and I think we're gonna have to make a new axle for it. That part fits through the frame with the nut, which is all in fine. That's all in good condition. That is the pivot for the pedal, which is not okay, but the thread and the nut are all okay. So what I'm thinking I might do is get the, hold this in the lathe, turn that part down until it's perfectly round. And then this hole that's not round, drill and ream that so it's round, oversized, and then make a bush, a sleeve that fits in there that I can solder in place that takes up the outside and the ID of it fits the new diameter of that. Bingo. Now that is just what we need. That should do us nicely. The ID of it fits nicely on there. That hole I've reamed so it's round again. And that is gonna push in there nicely. I'll probably solder that in place to hold it in position.
it looks all right. I'm quite pleased with that. Next problem, this hole up here, that is where the, the rod goes through that goes to the actual back brake. So that it sort of hooks through there. As you push the pedal down with your foot, it pulls the rod that way and actually works the brake, the actual back brake. And look how close that is to wearing through. So what I'm gonna do is weld up that area where it's worn. Oh, hello, look who's here. You trouble? Yes. What? What's happened? Oh, here we go. Here we go. All I'm gonna do is weld that hole up and make it nice and round again. Goodness sake. That just needs a quick coat of paint and it is going back on the bike. And then we can get on with, maybe we'll move to the front brake. Let's have a look at that, see if we can get that working as well. Keep it under your hat And bag up the cap And keep it under wraps Or behind your back If you know what's best And keep it close to your chest And let them all just guess Um, we're doing so well, it's really coming together. And I'm getting close to running out of jobs before I need to mount the mudguard, but I can't do that until the seat turns up. It hasn't turned up yet. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. I've been promised, FedEx, come on, sort it out. <laughs> on to the next job, which is a small one, but essential. This is the spring for the side stand. Up until now, it's been flapping around. Um, I needed this. The original one was broken completely in half. So hopefully this fits and I've ordered the right one. Oh, here we go. That looks like it will go again I'll take this apart this all looks all right all of this I'll give this all a good clean up but I'm pretty confident this will live again Guess what's just turned up? Ah, oh, yes! This is what I wanted. Exactly the seat that I wanted. I completely appreciate that this probably doesn't look like much, just looks like a worn out, knackered old seat. But it is exactly what I was after. I've been looking for one of these for so long. Oh, look, it's even got the fancy bait sticker underneath, look. Literally couldn't be better. It's perfect, I actually got some sort of leather cream, like moisturizer cream from Dean down at the repair shop uh, for his leather shoes. I'll probably give it a little wipe over with that because it's quite dry. 
um, but it's come from America. So hey, I guess it's a, it's a California sun has, has baked it nicely. Thank you so much everybody for leaving a comment and pointing me in the direction of Luke, uh, lucky Luke. I guess I better get it mounted now then. Let's make some more brackets, get the mud guard on properly and get that seat mounted. And then I'm nearly there. I feel like just, I feel like taking it out the, up the road. Yeah, let's make some engine noises. <laughs> it needs some work. It's basically mounting it. It had this horrible piece of metal welded on the back of it with a hole in it, the way the previous person had obviously mounted it. I cut that off to reveal a big hole in the bottom of the metal plate at the base. The front bracket is in slightly the wrong place. Uh, and then there's three holes at the back for me to bolt it to the mud guard, but there's no bolts. So I need to get in to put some bolts through there and actually shaking it around, I can see through the holes, there's actually the old bolts loose rolling around in the seat. So I think I'll have to bash around the metal plate that's the main bottom bracket, weld some bolts where I want them and then put it all back together again. And then I can think about mounting it on the bike. Here's the bolt. It's on. The seat is fitted, the mud guard is fitted, the brakes are on. It's looking good, it's looking like a bike again. I've got all the levers on, I'm chuffed. I'm really, really pleased. So I'm gonna clear the benches off, tidy everything up, put all my welding equipment away, get all the engine pieces out in preparation for John to come up this weekend. So next week's video, we'll get into that engine and we'll find out what surprises we can find in there. But for now, thank you so much for watching. Thank you again for helping me find that seat. I love it. Make sure you subscribe. It helps us all out with the numbers. You know what it's like with these algorithms. We'll see you next time.